Welcome back, it's art time class. Today, we're gonna to be finishing off our weaving project. Let's get started. To begin, we have a piece of burlap with lots of yarn decorations. So here I did kind of a, a rainbow. And with any of the extra strings, you want to make some sort of knot, and it can be any kind of knot you want. It really, really is up to you and what you know. Once you have your knot in place, you're gonna go ahead and cut any of those extra strands off, and you're done. Now, if you'd like to make this into a bag, you can definitely do that if you want. Um, and I think I'm going to sew mine up to be sort of this, this kind of shape. Let's do, let's do it in this direction. Yeah, I think I like that. So I've got the rainbow going across. All right, so to begin that, you're going to need a nice long piece of yarn and of course your plastic needle. And I think I want this to be just a little bit wider. There we go. I want this sticking out just a little bit right there. I'm gonna put that top edge to have a little pink on it as well. All right. So again, this is optional. You do not have to do this if this part if you do not want to. And I'm gonna go do the running stitch down and I'm gonna wrap around in this direction. Do that a little bit of a knot there. Let's take that. There it goes. Get your string out of my way. You put this in the trash, right? Okay. I'll make a little bitty knot here. And it is, again, up to you what kind of knot you make. As long as you've got your yarn secured, it is up to you. So one way is to fold and do this running stitch. Now you are going through two layers of burlap. So it will be just a little harder. really cool. Okay. And now here I am at the bottom and what I'm going to do in addition, and you, you don't have to do both. You can do one or the other. So I'm going to do a wrap. I'm going to wrap around the edge of the burlap. Okay. So I've got this edge here. I'm gonna go through both layers like before with the running stitch, but this time I'm gonna always go in and in through one direction and pull out through the other and wrap around the edge. And some students have already been doing this. So I definitely wanted to show you guys both ways. You can just do the running stitch and as you can see, that's holding nicely. And then this wraparound is a little stronger. If you want to do that, you can. I think if you space them out nicely, it's gonna look really nice as well. When you space them out and have random spacings, it's gonna look more random. And as the artist, it is your choice how you do that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Can y'all see that? I went through the thread right there. I think I caught it. Let's go back through that. Ooh, that is something that I'm, I'm not the only one who's been doing that. There's been several people who have done it. 
and that is that is okay it just will create kind of a knot and I don't I don't want that right there I don't want a little knot right there okay let's keep going And what I'm going to do is go all the way up here and then I'll feed my thread through the side and I'll do this side as well. That would enclose the space. But I'm going to do just this edge and not both edges. And look at that. That's holding really nice. It's making a little bag for me. Ooh, this thread, this yarn is wanting to knot up on me. There it goes. Right here, y'all see that? He's trying to... Ah! <laughs> I think when you have a knot like that you just you got to take a second to get that unraveled because it will just create more problems if you ignore it I'll get farther down the line and I'll be stuck with a knot in the middle somewhere and I do not want that <sighs> there we go yeah that's a lot easier now And then I'm gonna go and through this way and then I'll do that side as well. And that is how you close off a side to make like a little pocket. Well, I cannot wait to see what you are gonna make in the classroom. Till next time, keep being creative.